What fuck are you looking at? What? You going hunting today? Hell yeah. Hunting for some ass? Yeah. Looking for my prey. Eat, pray, love. It's <laughs> my, it's my checklist. Oh, you caught me doing my cultural sensitivity training. Apparently, I've been super racist lately. Really? <laughs> no. Yeah. It's against, like, against what subculture? We got an email. It was just like you have one more thing we have to do now. Is it the hat? Did they see you wearing that hat and they're like, this dude needs to be fucking taught some stuff about cultures? They know I hate white people. Is that what it is? Yeah. The white devil is. Even yeah. You are not an ally to the whites. I threatened to kill a white man. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. damn, that got meta. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can you get yourself arrested for premeditated murder on yourself? Yeah. Suicide's illegal. Really? Yeah. What's the punishment? Death? Yeah. Life. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you got capital punished That's how, yeah, for that, attempted suicide. The, go the government has, like, the key to, like, immortality, and it's only if you try to kill yourself. That's the punishment. You'll never die. <sighs> Let's try it. It's a good movie. That is, that would be a sick movie. There is nothing I love more than a genuine office rivalry filled with real hatred where you can feel the hate that they have for each other. And we have that with Smitty and Devlin. These two have hated each other forever. They fight like cats and dogs throughout the years. And it happened again this week on the Dave Portnoy Show. To be honest, I don't really know what they fight about, but I just know that they really, really hate each other. I think it had something to do recently with Radio Bren being let go. Shout out Radio Bren. Smitty maybe didn't take too kindly to that, and this led to the latest in a long list of battles between Smitty and Devlin. Ha! Ha! My man. How do you My think man. That? Welcome to El Segundo. How do you think that went? Um, 945 is the most important part of the drop. Two weeks in a row, Smitty went up to get his laundry, do whatever, and left them regs on the street. Get my laundry for, like, for my pregnant wife who can't fucking I mean, move and need to help her, you know, get dressed. Sure, get sure. Then the don't. Yeah, and I told you, you beforehand, and you fucking said, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And then afterwards, no, I never said get up, take your laundry out at the most crucial part of the drop and leave your fucking co host to you're, just you're, do you're, it you're alone. Bullshit and things. I'm then not. Get up, take my laundry out. Get up, help my fucking pregnant wife in and out of the shower. Okay, then don't do the stream. I, I said it beforehand, and you motherfuckers are like, oh, don't worry about it. Well, and then, then afterwards, you you're like, just oh, you got yourself keep out. It's a toxicity and borderline uh, vindictive shit like this. I couldn't handle anymore. Right, right. Pretty good. I mean, the, at the end of the day, it's not like uh, I think I've said at the end of the day a lot. Look at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Look at the end of the day. Uh, but at the end of the day, <laughs> Smitty's been welcome to stream on Game Time anytime. The past six months, uh, he was saying that he can't control his own destiny, and there's directives from the top and. Uh, none of that was the case. We hired MRAGs and thought they were going to be a great kind of duo. Um, he really, tr like, you have a kid. I know it's going to take a couple of weeks to get used to, but, like, really, have, since May, middle of May, there's been nothing that he's like, done for us. Like, he can say he streamed for 60 days last year. Like, how many clips did he, like, make sure to get out? How many YouTube ideas did he create? Like, what did he make out of all, like, those hours? Like, there's a lot of hours just blown up in Verdansk with White Sox Dave. That didn't get the algorithm moving. So, um, as far as the people would let go, I had no fucking decision in that. I'm a, like, like, look at my fucking desk. You think I make decisions here? Um, I think game time's in a great spot. We got Riley running social. MRAGS is doing a bunch of stuff. We still got tournament possibilities. Smitty's welcome to still do whatever he wants. Like, I was told he was going to cut, he was going to take this year off. Come back in 2022 strong, do I casino, do things that really have nothing to do with our gaming audience, but maybe that's good. That's good for Penn, good for us, whatever. Um, but again, for a guy that didn't talk to me since March because I said, don't call our co host comrades, um, I don't really know what to make of that. You can tell when Smitty gets really generally upset 
face all red. You're not funny. You do this like I didn't say you. that. That's yeah. you compartmentalizing it. Can no, you see how no. red he gets when no. he gets angry? Yeah, he's mad. I'd live for that. Hair in the back of the neck, and then he'll start. I mean, it's like the same, like the Trista stream, where it's just like yelling in your face, interrupting you, but then saying, don't interrupt me. Um, I live for when that guy turns red. Yeah, but that's just Philly, dude. Yeah, big click Nick. So Check what's it the, out. What's the status of your guys' relationship? Is this just another chapter? Hey, in like I said it in there. You two are destined for each other. This I, is like Batman. I said it Joker. in there. Like, I don't know how many people here were supporting Smitty when his arm was in a sling and he was popping pills and he really hated himself. The Duncan Awards, you remember that one? Um, still stuck through him through that. Now, when I did the SWAT, he couldn't have supported me less, and I'm not holding that against him. But just the difference of like, I've spent over three years producing him, making sure he was getting views, putting Twitch links into blogs that he didn't write because that would make it look like he does things. All these tricks and illusions. And I've done it without like, like I said, he hasn't talked to me since March. I could have done that meeting in April. I've chosen to not do that. And I wanted to have it be, you know, maybe more amicable or just have a, a, a more private solution. But uh, now Cat's out of the bag. But he basically just turned on some of the only allies he had, like, in this office. Mm -hmm. So, it sucks. But that's life. You know? Yeah. Balls, what's your take on this? As a no former hooligan. Happening. You know, any any awareness, and any, I learned this from Dave Portnoy, any publicity is good publicity. Go check out Game Time 2.0. Yeah. Rags, the whole crew. We, I mean, we've, we're trying to get more into tournaments. NHL, Rocket League, Warzone. Mm. Maybe we'll dip back into Fortnite, probably not. But okay. um, the future is bright for gaming at Barstool. I Hell think yeah. that's what's kind of lost in maybe that discussion. And um, like I said, if, if Smitty wants to be involved with it, great. He keeps talking about these directives and these people. Me and Logan, who does Surviving Barstool, Barstool vs. America, we haven't really done shit since like January because we were burned out after three years of daily producing of this guy that had no skill in gaming and also not really a ton of effort other than turning on the stream, getting his measuring glass and saying, hooch magooch, some quote about Teddy Roosevelt, <laughs> wet the sticks. That's it. Um, Is that true that, balls? Balls, can you confirm that? I find it's pretty entertaining. Um, to, to build all that for three plus years, to have somebody just drop out of the, you know, drop out of oblivion for six months and then get in a room. And like I said, he hasn't talked to me since March because it gave him a fucking production note. Um, that's a small man. <laughs> It's a small, scared man, and whatever. That, that's how he's always been. Um, Viva. <laughs> Viva. How do you think that went? His name is Matt. He was beat red. I live for that. He was so mad. I, I, he, I don't. In the end, I don't think he made any sense. Really, this is on brand. Yeah, I was gonna say really. Because he's like, I don't control my own destiny. He's like, what can't you do? He's like, well, I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he needs a five thousand dollar computer. Sounds like what it boils down to. It's like, can you go stream whenever you want? Yes. So what? Can you stream at home? Well, if I had a computer. Okay. I mean, I sort of get like Evelyn gave him a note, I guess. Like if he, but it, it I don't know. That's why I call it the romper room. That's why I call it the romper room. I'm Smitty. Go birds. Yeah. What's going on with the Eagles? That's the story of the week. Uh, they're going to dismantle the Jets this week. <clears throat> I think they're what, minus six and a half right now? Big bounce back game. Jalen Hurts playing. Hammer. Picks wit for the first time in a long time. Please. Uh, I just wanted to check in and see how you felt about everything this week. In regards to? The game time. Oh. I mean, I've been pretty much out for months. I expressed myself not so eloquently on the Dave Portnoy show, but, uh, answered basically everything that was said uh, in a blog. And I don't know, I guess that's all she wrote. There's a lot more that could be going into, but just gotta let it go. So where, where do we go from here? What's next? <coughs> uh, Smitty. Well, as I said in the blog, I personally believe for game time to be successful, you need to bring in like we did for TikTok and YouTube, an actual professional who knows what's going on in the Twitch gaming and streaming space and not just people throwing shit against the wall for the past five years, myself included. But at least I know I'm throwing shit against the wall. I'm not acting like I know what the fuck I'm talking about and making other people do it and have people fired for my mistakes. Uh, I think that's number one. Number two is support. Come Rex. He's a good dude. We need a gamer here who actually knows what they're doing. 
in the uh, in that world. I don't, obviously. I'm a common man, just trying to get by, make people laugh. So uh, support the cum rags. He's actually the biggest loser at all of this, sadly, because <laughs> if you don't want to be called cum rags, the last thing you want to do is go on the internet and ask not to be called cum rags. Yeah, I was thinking that he almost has to be cum. <laughs> he has to be cum rags. He's cum rags for now. <laughs> I mean, that's video, that's video game chat room 101. Yeah. I don't want to be called Cumrax. Well, you're Cumrax. Sorry, man. You're Cumrax. Yeah, you should have said I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. And you then people, the and people would be like, Cumrex. you know what, man? I feel kind of weird calling another man Cumrax. Yeah. So. I mean, well, I, mean I'm, I don't know. I, I like, I want to see you stream again. Oh, I'll be streaming again. Maybe not. Well, definitely not. <clears throat> Going rogue? The, the, the full-time hours that I was basically just spinning my own wheels for nothing uh, but something something will be cooked up we'll see okay go birds go birds this episode of Stool Scenes is presented by High Noon. I love High Noon. You guys know this. Real vodka, real juice, real fans. It's championship weekend in college football. NFL, grab you a High Noon. The shenanigans that have gone on around this place, if you don't drink a High Noon, you're not going to be able to get through it. Stool Scenes, High Noon, do it. It's delicious. This week, we had our sixth annual Cyber Monday telethon. We always do something special to try to sell a lot of merch. We had Dave literally burying himself alive one year, the paintball fiasco where General Smitty almost got decapitated. We locked people in an escape room last year. This year, ahead of their rough and rowdy fight, we had Jersey Jerry and Nadu facing off. So here's the thing, I was a little pissed off when I saw there was a dunk take, because I've always wanted to do a dunk take. Not that I was pissed off, I was like, well, who the fuck is doing a I'd love to do a dunk take. I know this was an opportunity. They were actually telling me today that the original idea of this Cyber Monday was to put me on like a spinning thing and, and lure me around and turn me over, which would have sucked. But if anyone ever offered me to get in a dunk tank, I would love it. That's like my dream. It's been one of my, I've always wanted to get in a dunk tank. I, got, I don't know if there's a dunk tank at the Arizona Bowl, but I'm going to try to get into that. Because a dunk tank in the middle of the desert, that sounds like a dream. I mean, it sounds awesome. You just might as well just, it might as well be your hot I've dog. always wanted to do a dunk tank. <laughs> and I know, granted, they're filling up the water right now. That's going to be a lot grosser in yeah. a little bit when we put the stuff in it. But still, that, that's always been a bucket list thing of mine is to be a dunk tank guy. All right, fair. Anyway, so if anyone ever needs me to be the dunk tank guy, maybe I'd like a, I know they're doing my like, Greek life fundraisers, maybe something like that. If you ever need me to be a dunk tank guy and you see this, inquire my Twitter DMs. I'd love to come. Dude, who gets to throw? Just the other guy, right? I forgot that I came up with this idea. Yeah. It's pretty fucked up. But I hit it twice already. How many throws do you think the person is going to have? It depends on how much we sell. I mean, I absolutely will get this thing. No one. I'll walk up and do it. People need a dunk. Yeah. Well, I said, I said you'll, yeah, you'll push it. it. Yeah, I mean, that's that. If you win, right? And you, but you go over, then you just gotta walk your ass up and sit on the thing, and the other guy comes down and gets to shoot too. Oh, actually, I like that. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. A double dunk. If you, if you blow miss, it, it's a if double. You blow it, you deserve to go in. Make, I'll make the rule right now. If 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 you miss all your throws, then we go to sudden death. Three three throws each until someone dunks. You don't give the other person the full the full compliment? No, no, no just no. three throws? Yeah, true. So three throws, three throws. Until somebody's wet. Somebody's going in, whether it's Big Cat pushing the lever or the ball hitting it, someone's going in. This is start at seven. I think we can film yeah, some promos yeah. right now. Yeah. Just some yeah. random one-liners, all this type of shit. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure what we're walking into right now, to be honest. Thanks for doing this. How you doing? How do you feel? I'm good. Good, good. So I think it'll be fun. Of course I did. Look at the shape. Of course I did my hair. Why the fuck would you? Concords. Who do you think you are with the fucking concords? Listen, Jerry. All you do is fucking talk. You're a bitch. You're standing here talking. You're worrying about going into the street. You're going in Dave's fucking office. I'll give you a fucking slap. Shut up. Look at that fucked up. Let's go film those promos. I'll give you a fucking slap. Do it, bitch. You think I give a fuck about getting thrown out of here? You think I give a fuck? I'm going to Rikers for now. I don't give a fuck. Shut you don't the think fuck I, up. You think I give a fuck? Yeah, with your fake I'll fucking hoodie. I'll slap the fuck out of you, bitch. Get the fuck out of here.
Get your muscle flexed. What are you pushing me for? Get the fuck out of here. What are you pushing me for? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. You gotta fade your hair. I don't know what you're pushing me for. Where's your boy Rico? Where are you hiding in the fucking corner? Fucking bitches. Haircut. I doubt it, but I don't think you slap someone and you go straight to Rikers. I don't know. I mean, I'm not in the judicial system. No, I, don't I, don't, I, don't think that's, I don't think that's how it works. Is that what he said? He said, oh, yeah, he'd go to Rikers for a night. It's, it's got to be a really hard slap, like really hard. That's crazy how how he just dominated. Yeah. He just looked at him up. And he actually looked up at him and said, you short fuck. <laughs> Where the fuck is Rico? Anybody know? Where the fuck is he? He in here? Of course not. Hey Dave, how are you? Good to see you. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Is Rico hiding in here? Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? He don't want to fucking face me. That's what he doesn't want to do. Yeah. He's, he's uh, in a room right now. Come the fuck out, you bitch. Come out. You won't, though, motherfucker. Soft ass pussy. Hang about a fucking locked door. Fuck You got it. Another man on a fucking door when another man. Jeff, he's scared of you. That's why he's doing it. Listen, this guy, he's a certified bitch. You yeah. see his haircut? He thought he was getting a fresh haircut coming here. I want you to zoom in on the haircut when you get done with yeah. this. It's a mess. Is, Dragon Ball Z looking ass. Do you see what this is? This, this is, is a fade. fade. This is a fade. I, I did the beard myself. I don't have to go yeah. pay somebody to do it. I do it myeah. myself. Oh, looking know. fresh. Yeah, respect. Respect. That's Look fine. at these two bearded I did, guys. I did push them. Felt like I shouldn't have done that, but it felt good. I feel back in the fight game. I yeah. love this thing. Jerry, yeah. you gotta got you gotta stay back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jerry, just you just stayed you back just here, stay big by. fella. When you put something in the water, do you get a throw as well? Or no, the, so every fifteen thousand every fifteen oh, they throw. Yeah, Whoever, every fifteen thousand uh, okay. sales. You get to, the person, uh, like, whoever's presenting gets to put something in the water, and then they also get a ball. Okay. The winner gets a ball. Jer Jerry earned a er 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 Just one ball? Damn. No, they, they keep getting, every 15 they get another ball. I got you. I'm fighting you! But who's, who's training you? Some nobody from Newark? He ain't a nobody, buddy. He ain't a nobody. Yeah. Who's scared of the land city? You wouldn't come. You didn't come in, though. That's the thing. You are in fucking Amish. Yeah, because that's where you live. You yeah. buy the goats for shit. you go take a fucking walk? You're always hanging on somebody, you fucking loser. You're always hanging on somebody. That's why you're by yourself, you you're fucking loser. Right. Yeah, you don't got no friends. Yes. I, thanks for telling you're me I'm right. You're a fucking countless hack. Hey, you we're not live yet. Hey, we're not live yet. I don't need to work here. Just relax. Look at this guy. Why are you fighting that? Look at the shape of this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Listen, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to fuck you up, bro. I'm going to decimate you, bro. I swear to God. I can see it in your fucking eyes. But you are a bitch, bro. I'm going to fuck you up bad. Trust me. You called me, you bitch. Jerry, can you talk? Don't fucking start, buddy. This this, this fight's for me. This fight's about my pride. I don't give a fuck about you. I couldn't care less. I'll fight anybody in here. I don't. You won't fight nobody in here. You won't do shit. That's all you're worried about is money. You're right. That's exactly what I'm worried about. I don't give a fuck about this. You do. Beat and get paid. And guess what? You ain't never gonna get a job here. I know. That worked out, didn't it? I don't need a job here, though. No, you do. No, I don't. You don't. You definitely don't make no, over seventy-five thousand a year, so you should be looking at a job here. Are we really doing that? Okay. You're right. I'm not worried about anything. I'm doing truth. I see it in your face. You're fucking, yeah, you're fucking lazy people. Lazy motherfuckers. My father will outwork you. Fuck you and your dad. That fucking. Fair enough. You fucking motherfucker. Call me a junkie again, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna fucking death you. You want me to spell it out for you? You piece of shit. Fuck him, big cat. We got an hour of this. We got an hour. Good. We got an hour. Do the whole hour. hour. I'm a junkie who makes more money than you, got more friends than you. You're a fucking bitch. We have an hour. 
All right, what an intro. We got the sixth annual, hard to believe, sixth annual Barstool Cyber Monday Telethon. As far as I know, still the only telethon that is for profit for ourselves. <laughs> um, this is the sixth year doing it, wrapping up Black Friday to Cyber Monday. This is a little bit intense for what we have for this Cyber Monday because we have our big fight for Rough and Rowdy coming up with Jersey Jerry and Jeff Nadu. It's about respect. They are both here. They're trying to fight each other. Before we started, I had to be like, yo, we're, we're not on camera yet. It's real. They truly, truly don't like each other. Here's what we're doing. So we have a dunk tank, and we're going to fill it with all sorts of junk, all right? Like, um, we got a table of just gross shit. Every 15000 that we sell, somebody gets to put more stuff into the dunk, dunk tank. Both Nadu and Jerry are going to pick how much they think we sell. Not Price is Right style. Whoever is closest will get as many baseballs. So every 15 grand, you get a baseball, throws to put the other guy in the dunk tank. We will go to them real quick to start the show. Do I need a mic? Never been through shit in his life, spoon fed his whole life. He's going to know what struggle is December 10th. And these are on sale, the Jerry Jersey Army. Yeah. Jerry Army is on sale, Barstool Sportsbook. It was always the Army. It was always Jersey Jerry. Oh, All right. Let's go, Jerry. Jersey, Woo! Jersey Jerry. Jersey. Jersey Army in this bitch. Stop yeah. playing. And I'm here alone. I don't got. I'm not, oh, I'm, I'm not saying shit. I don't give a fuck about him. I'll see you in oh, you're, you're a junkie. Oh, that's that's good. You are. You're a, a fucking junkie. junkie. Makes more money you're a junkie. Than you Shut up. That is Shut work. Up. So there we go. There is real bad blood. Yeah, you're in your fucking corner. Bitch. <laughs> okay. Where's them shirts you bought? Right here. They're right I right here. It's always about respect with an old fashioned. Oh, we, we that, that's not even me. I was two years ago. That is two years. They're both in good shape. December 10th, it's about respect. Cover your hair, but oh, oh, your hair. So, what is it he's predicting? You're predicting yes, how much we're going to sell. What am I predicting? How There's much we're going to sell? Today. No, just no, today. today. On Monday. Just right during now. this telephone. Just, just right now. Just the hour. Just, just the hour. Just in the hour. How long is the telephone? So, you're at 8,200 bucks right now, right? Correct. Okay. So, where's your Put your name on it, too. Sign it. Um, yeah, yeah. straightforward. And the only other rule is the overtime. So there will be someone dunked. Okay, yes, correct. So if somebody misses all the throws, say they have 10 throws, then you will rotate and there's three overtime throws for the guy who was previously sitting in the dunk tank. And no rebuttals. No rebuttals. If you hit it, you're in and it's over. Who's that? I just have to grab a shirt. Yeah, I just got a shirt. Well, I'm complaining. Yeah, I'm complaining. You're all good. You're good. I'm good. Let's go. You know, I just, yeah, you know, I know, I'm coming into my own home. <laughs> Rico's holding it down, which I respect. That's the you one just, guy I want in my foxhole. Yeah. Working. Get in there. You just... Yeah, get that all in there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's like suspended. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Right on the fucking head. Check it out. <laughs> the corduroy hat. Yeah. We've also got. The, oh my God! <laughs> We've got the blue, the, the green joggers here. Please buy. <laughs> Honestly, please buy. <laughs> the brand new. <laughs> Does the whole thing over there smell bad? Is that no, what happened? Is that what happened? Genuinely. Genuinely, I feel like I'm Oh my god, why is everyone throwing up? What's I happening? Really like Manny's a tutor person. What's happening? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Is this no, gonna no, cause no, a no. puke chain reaction? No, 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 no. Oh, it will cause a chain reaction. I know. Is everyone gonna start I will, throwing up? I will. I will. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna roll no, my I'm chair right off and. I honestly can't Oh my god. Wait, Dan! Wait, Dan! It's your fault! It's 100% my fault, but I did. This is the chaos I love! Tank top, the pajamas are amazing. It's kind of a waste of a hand. Hold on, Eddie, hold on. We gotta, we gotta jump away, though. No, oh yeah, you're right. Oh god. Oh! oh. Yeah, push the merch. We got the sweatshirt, the hat, the flags out. I didn't even know we had the flag. Buy the merch. Santa's a rider. Pump it. This is nuts. You might as well end this shit right That's now. It. I got. This is over. He likes end this shit right now. Nadu yeah, is very happy. Right Two hundred and thirteen thousand out of here. These are Let's locked. go. Let's go. We're out of here. 
Drum roll, please. Oh boy. Jersey Jerry 181, 181,000. Jeff Nadu 215,000. Winner, Jeff Nadu. Will that be okay? So, how many balls? I'm not worried about this shit. Let who do it? I'm not, I'm not throwing shit. What? No. The whole point. The dude says no. The whole point was to see it done. Oh, he can't throw, that's why. Throw. Throw. I'm going in the tank. Yeah. Go in the tank. All right. Alright, so he's got to hurt. Listen, we're fighting. I ain't gonna hurt. You're definitely ain't gonna hurt me. Yes, I can fucking throw. And from here is the line. And now if he misses all 14, we switch who's sitting and he gets three throws. Yep. Behind the line. Thank you, by the way, everybody who bought merch. Means a lot. There is. That's one throw. Yeah, so no. Two throws. Oh, no. Wait, you gotta get your feet off. I hit the drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that hit. That hit. That hit. Didn't go down. Yeah, but he had speed. That hit though. I didn't go down. Oh, Jesus. Dave, you just have the speed. Yeah, you do have to hit those hard. Here's the ruling. Your feet were up when he hit it, so we don't know if that actually would have triggered. So 14? Can you want me to go in the tank? No, no, I'm no, not saying no. that, but you, you, you can't get the, I think you would have gone in if... if I think you get another 14. Like, the feet don't matter because the seat would have gone back. No, but the weight's not the weight on it, correct. The weight on the seat. I go back, I go back. I'm trying to get him in That shit's fucked up. I ain't going to... No, I No, no, no. Terry's just going to can throw. Ten throws. Ten throws. If that, if that means I don't have to go in, Jerry I'm not sure. No, no, if someone's got to get dunked, that's the whole point of this thing. I think he's out of getting dunked. Yeah, but you can't tell his feet were up. There you go. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's a champ. December 10th! December 10th! December 10th! <laughs> Wait, December 10th! December 10th! December 10th! Look at this guy! December 10th! Let's go! Look at It's disgusting in smell, but it went well. At the end of the day, we're trying to move merch, so. I think we did good. We got the goal, right? Yeah, I think so. Pretty close to it. We know we didn't need a ton. It's been good leading up to it, but you know, that's a good way to end it. All right, I gotta get those things I like though, so I can get those in the vlog. Yeah, well, well, works out. Yeah, two hundred something. Can't can't complain about yeah, that. No. That I mean, that couldn't have been better at the end with ten more throws, nailing the first one. I think he would have gone in if yeah, he wasn't doing that. Yeah, because he scooted back. Yeah, like, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that was great. Yeah. It was fun. I'm the only guy with Actually, fairness in here. Yeah. They you you sniffed that out and yeah. did the moral thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked out perfectly. That's what people say. Oh, well, I, I got a lot. To, I got to figure my schedule. It's a disaster now. It's like Miami, Big Ten Championship, Patriot. Uh, and as much as I'm saying how fun it is, it's a full time job having two teams that have big games every week. <laughs> Must be tough. It is. It's like Monday, we're in Indianapolis Saturday, Buffalo Monday. It's a full time fucking job. Our butt, Basil, or whatever that is in Miami. I, I'm getting pulled everywhere. It's like a huge party. Week. Art ba week Basil. A year in Miami. This you week. can't miss that. No, not when you're a social butterfly like I am. <laughs> Hi, that's me and Gaz off uh, Pharrell. Pharrell there. And he thought we were our groups. He's like, what art do you have? Gaz dresses Ed Hardy shit. All these guys in there. It's Jerry's meeting. I called the meeting. Rico wanted to meet. No, Jerry. No, no, no Rico. Jerry. I called the meeting. I wanted Rico in here. I wanted Big Cat in here. I just want some, some things discussed. After December 10th, after I annihilate this guy, he's banned. I, 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 I and, and Rico could attest to this. I don't want his name being mentioned with Barstool. Nothing to do anymore with any of us. This, this, you know, Rico had a good point. 
it means something to walk through these doors every day. And, and you know, it's a good point. And I think after this fight, after I, after I handle my business December 10th, he's done. He's dead. No more. You'll have to kill him then in the ring. I'm going to talk to you. I like you, Jerry. But I'm going to talk to you as though there's someone else in the room that needs to hear this message. Yeah. We have, what, 250, 300 people here. I wouldn't hire him to spite somebody or not, but I gotta look out for the best interest of everybody here, which is what I try to do because everyone's helping rowing together. There's some guys, you're not one of them, thank God, who only look out for themselves and they want to chase everybody out so they're the only guy who works here and then we have no company. So I can't be held hostage, you know, by guys who have had 10 years to come full time and haven't done it. And then they want to pick and choose who works here. It sets a bad precedent. Some people are so laser focused on themselves and, and you know, it's only about them. Mm -hmm. You're not one of those guys, but that's how I judge anybody. So to have someone come in and be like, I can't do this guy, that guy. If, there's this one guy, if I listen to him, we have nobody at the company. Yeah. It, it'd be a zero person I company. Who do, you, who, do you, who do you think he's talking about? Uh, I, went, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an, I don't have an educated guess on that. Okay. What happens if the dude beats you? I quit. He could, he could take my spot. But I don't want you to quit. No, but he could take my spot here. So it's a loser leaves town match? That's it. How about, how about, and I don't want that to happen. This hypothetical, both guys in the town. Oh, a mutual quitting. Yeah. You have to quit if I lose? Yeah, there's two guys that have to quit. Deal. Okay. Deal. So is that a deal? Well, we don't. We don't know other, who it is. Yeah, the they other person could right. be right. Hypothetical. But if. But I'll lose. Hypothetically, with that person. That quit? hypothetical guy has been in here before paper was dried and said it's me or him. Yeah. From what I was told, hypothetically. Hypothetically speaking, because right. we don't know who we're talking and about. And I do think... Hypothetically, we're talking about the big guy in that business knows that money matters and some are earners and some are proven and ultimately you would decide to earn. But, but are, hypothetically, but the speech I just gave yeah. was if I thought someone could earn and help, I would hire. If I didn't, I wouldn't. Right. And hypothetically, I saw half of that play. You saw half of that show and walked out the way. Hypothetically, hypothetically, I'm a only sold six. Hypothetically, this is not one of the good fight we need a trilogy. Hypothetically, the meeting's over. The meeting's over. I would like it on record. We had one that's going to be all five of them. The is trying to make me cry. But we want one that's like just the audience. Yes, this is our last regular season college show. Just a touch this way. And I think it's hateful. I'll be here too. The studio this morning at like 10 a.m. and he was like, "So when are you gonna start crying? Like why?" Just so that. for the last that didn't, four I never and a half that. hours, he's just been asking me to cry. Boy, do you exaggerate things? What are you talking about? Have do, you not? Do you think that I have as much free time as that to just talk to you for four straight hours? No, 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 no. I'm not saying you talk to me for four straight hours. I'm saying for four straight hours you've been asking me when I'm gonna. Let me rephrase this properly. Four hours ago, I said it one time. <laughs> That's not true. He's lying, and I know I can't oh, prove that. Oh. But there are many witnesses. Oh. It, who, yeah. who comes that much? Well, is I don't know, but like, you like, 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 this is a now. weird thing. I'm about to get it. egged, so I brought a towel. But like, it, you, you would understand that like it, it looks like you're just carrying around a gigantic towel. It looks like I'm, no. I'm going to get it's egged. Like, like, it, it looks like someone's holding a towel. Wait, Why would you expect to come? This isn't a cum towel, it's a towel. That's a well, I mean, I say it was an oversized cum towel. That's a towel. That's what a towel is. This is a towel. An oversized cum towel is just a towel. Casey, Casey. Casey. <laughs> <laughs> he was walking towards like a fucking shower or something. He's just walking around. Like, why so if you it? see a random person on the street carrying a towel, like, wow, they're about to get jizzed all over. There's a bowl full of eggs that are going to be on me soon. So, and you're yes, wearing I... her sweatshirt. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Like stuff on her sweatshirt. No, that's because you don't care if you get it dirty. You're looking into this. Yeah, that's not being a nice human. She's You're on one. It's not being a nice human, is it, Colin? Nope. It's good. I'm playing Smash, but they're also covered in it. But it's Brandon Walker, so not shocked. I'm wearing uh, uh, the biggest sweatshirt I got. Someone, so, someone called it a cum because uh, <laughs> it's so large. What? You're not needed down here yet. You're not needed down here yet. Yeah, he's, he's doing it as a poll. Right. Right. He literally needs to be here. Hey, hey, hey. Your presence is requested. Can you, uh, this mark here. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to. 
That's I'm going to be right behind you. And, okay. uh, and he's I'll there? And he's going to be over there. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to try to hit the back. Over there, I'll, I'm going to try to take the first couple in the face. If it gets too bad, I'll turn around and hit him. Yeah, I need some fucking egg in the face. You don't think that's going to hurt? Oh, it's going to hurt. In the but mouth? But I don't want him to hit me in the face. I want him to go from you here. You might lose teeth. I mean, Dave barely dropped one on the set last week and it broke, so they are uh, easily breakable. Wait, you don't get a mask. Uh, I'm just going to get down like that. I, the way he threw that, I'm, I'm protecting my eyes. Yes. No, I think you. I think your eyes, your eyes should get gouged out. I'm protecting my <laughs> eyes. No, I think you should have no. I'll eyes. protect nothing else. I'm protecting my eyes. I think you should no longer have eyes. The one he threw at me last year that barely missed my eye by an inch. That would have destroyed me. That's a lot, don't you think? If you went blind, I think it would humble you. <laughs> we could just trip you all the time. <laughs> Because of Dave Portnoy, my worldwide gambling cred is A++. Now, my street cred on the fucking street, we call my strain Death Stew. Almost killed Dave. It's the fucking best thing ever. You know when you do heroin or you do heavy coke and it's so good you almost die? Or someone dies, you want to go right afterwards? That's what I have. It's Death Stew. It's a new strain. Go big or go home. It's December. All winners, all fucking eating ass licking clit and trying to kill the boss. I mean, I knew it. I, I like was so high. I was like, Whoosh. I, had a I actually thought if I fell asleep, like I could, I, it was. Imagine if Dave was the first person to ever overdose from weed. It's there's, it's not laced with fentanyl or anything. No, like no, it's a straight up bud. It's flour, <laughs> oil into a piece of chocolate, and you fucking do it. You eat the whole punch bar, the whole thing, not a piece, the whole fuck. <laughs> 250 milligrams. If you can't handle 250 milligrams, fuck you. You're not my friend. There's eight punch bars here. It's one for me, seven for someone else. You want to die with me? You want to die? You want to go to hell? You want to see your dead relatives? Let's fucking go, ready to fuck shit up. Hannah, edible? Absolutely not. Like, I don't, I've never done one. Really? Weed gives me anxiety. No, it, it, it relieves. No, I, 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 it relieves says that. anxiety. I did a 25 milligram once. I almost jumped off my balcony. That's <laughs> how uh, paranoid it made me. Oh, yeah, he, like, I love to be in control Show. of everything. Real shame. What is this amateur out here? What is Just this? felt like I had no control. It's 1974. Wait, that's so ironic. Holy shit. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Listen, the worst thing ever happened to me, I ate a thousand <clears throat> milligram edible. A thousand? A thousand. So and I ate a whole Wait, box of Captain bad. Crunch and Fruit Loops yeah. with regular milk, and I shit right in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> shit right, because I ate like both yeah. boxes, and I was so zipped out, I didn't realize the milk hits my belly. <clears throat> it was disgusting. Clear. But the edible fell fat. Neither of them are eating a bar. You can eat a bar. Can you eat a bar? I'm not eating a bar. I'll eat, a, I'll eat a bite of a bar. Can everybody just have a bite for like a party or no? Are we allowed to show the punch? I'm, I'm not, like, I mean, I'm not like, people can do whatever they want. On the show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, again, <laughs> you can offer them the bar. They will not take it. Oh, but okay. You're, you're free to do whatever. Have you, you ever had a 250 yeah. milligram edible? Uh, I've probably taken around what Dave had and I, I also thought I was going to die. But <laughs> we've had, we used to have people submit to the show like, times they fucked up and they would be like, I took too many edibles, I thought I was gonna die, blah, 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 blah. Same story over and over again. I thought I was dying. Like, closed my eyes, was like, this is, I'm never opening my eyes again, like, I'm dying. And then I remembered in that moment, I was like, oh, I just fucked like up. Fun. Took too many edibles. This is exactly, this is exactly what people say. I've never, ha I've had only one bad trip in my life, oh, last time I ate acid, obviously, and I've never had a bad trip on edibles, besides just eating too much and pooping in my pants, because the milk gets me. I don't know. I don't know. What just, world are we living in? You're just built here? different, too. I'm built different, exactly. I am built different. Correct. See, We're running back the egg joke. Can't like say your life. Or no, no. Who, who said? Like who said? Oh, it was, it was, uh, it was okay. Stu. He said, are we going to keep the egg up there? The all right, I'll do it. Uh, so are we keeping the egg up there? Yeah, we'll keep it up all season. Oh, all right. So are we uh, keeping the egg up there? Yeah, we'll keep it up all season, I guess, as an Easter egg. <laughs> and then everybody laughed. Really no, that was, it was a joke. <laughs> Everyone laughed. Oh, okay. uh, that was, yeah. Giving big cat a round of applause. That's what awesome. That's
the most underappreciated human on this earth is Dan Katz. Oh, I mean, that's, no, we should. Big Cat. He's very appreciated. No, he's underappreciated, I think. I think we should probably. People just take for granted that he's always going to be here, yeah. always going to give an Assistant, A plus performance. Always here, always, always right. here, always $40 million, pardon my take. Come on. 